Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, as we entered the room, you heard the chiming of the Lutian bell, a bell that is synonymous with Lloyd's and our maritime beginnings more than 330 years ago. Rung once to mark moments of mourning and twice to herald moments of ceremony and celebration, over the course of our history, it has been rung on numerous occasions to honour visits from the royal family. And whilst the visit of your Royal Highness today continues that fine tradition, the ringing of the bell today also celebrates the promise of life returning to a better normal as we have begun to overcome the significant challenges that the pandemic has brought for so many. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I um, can't tell you how flattered I am to have been invited uh, this afternoon to come here and, and cause mammoth disruption, I'm afraid to say, to your normal uh, activity and productivity, let alone probably interrupting your very important lunch hour. So I do apologise, but uh, it really is an enormous pleasure to be able to join you here at Lloyd's in the hearts of the City of London to hear the bell run twice, uh, that mark of good news, I'm told, and to celebrate a most important day for this market. We have never needed you more than we need you today. That's the point I really wanted to bring to this underwriting room. If, if we are to realise the aspirations of moving to a low-carbon world by the middle of this century, there will have to be a seismic shift of investment into new industries and sectors. Time running out, the urgency for action has, I fear, never been so great. And with this in mind, I could only ask you to join us in our efforts. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for ringing the bell twice. If there is one insurance policy we need, it's the one that guarantees the survival of the natural systems that sustain all life on Earth. So, thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.